Hey, I'm Professor Perez, again. Today we are going to work on subtraction. But before we get started, we need to get out our student of the semester. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do some subtraction. Let's get started right there. Six subtract five. So let's demonstrate subtraction on a number line. When you're subtracting positive numbers, you move to the left, to the left. Anyway, six subtract five, let's start at six. And let's move five units to the left, and notice we get a positive one for the answer. There we go. Now six subtract seven. Since the second number, seven, is larger than the first number, six, you should know you are gonna get a negative result because you're gonna pass the zero, watch. We start at six, and if we move six units to the left, we arrive at zero. We still need to go one more because we were subtracting a total of seven units. And that gives us an answer of negative one. There you go. 0 subtract 5. It's so easy, it's confusing. You start at 0, and you move 5 units to the left, and what do you get, Charlie? Negative 5. Very nice there, Charlie. Negative 5 is our answer. Now, how about negative 4 subtract 5? You start at negative 4, move left 5 units, and you get negative 9. That is your answer there. Now, let's do 4 subtract 9. Now, in this case, we are going to get a negative answer. We start at 4, we move 4 units to the left, we're at 0 but we had to move a total of nine. So we moved four, so we have to move five more to the left to move a total of nine, and we arrive at negative five on the number line. Four subtract nine is negative five. Well, what about nine subtract four? If we start at nine and move four units to the left, we arrive at five, and nine subtract four is five. So look, nine subtract four is a positive five, four subtract nine is a negative five. Now, there's some kung fu in here because when a black belt in Kung Fu is asked, hey, what's four subtract nine? They immediately think, oh, I know the answer is negative. But nine subtract four is a positive five, therefore four subtract nine is negative five. That's some good Kung Fu right there, so we'll be using more of that later. All right, now, let's do a little bit of algebra. Remember, this is the pre-algebra class, so we're gonna dive into some algebra. With this question here, what number do you subtract from five to get to negative two? In other words, how many units do you have to move to the left from 5 to arrive at negative 2? Well, if we're at 5, we know if we move 5 units to the left, we're at 0. But to get to negative 2, we still have to move 2 more. So we moved a total of 7 units to the left from the 5. So what number do you subtract from 5 to get negative 2? The answer is 7. That's because 5 subtract 7 is negative 2. Now, you are going to be asked this question in algebra, but you're going to be asked the question in equation form. It's going to be given this way. 5 subtract what number x equals negative 2? And doing it on the number line, we see that the unknown number x has to be equal to 7 because 5 subtract 7 is negative 2. Okay, let's do one more of these. What number do you subtract from negative 3 to get negative 8? Well, if we start at negative 3 and we move 5 units to the left, we see we arrive at negative 8 on the number line. Therefore, what number do you subtract from negative 3 to get negative 8? The answer is positive 5. That makes sense because negative 3 subtract 5 is negative 8. Now, how will you be asked this question in algebra? You'll be given an equation like this. Negative 3 subtract what number x is equal to negative 8? And we know the answer is x equals 5. That's the unknown number. Now, we'll talk more about algebra later in the semester, but that's it for now. We'll see you again soon.